this video we're going to look at how to add buttons and uh, what is being written when the bus button wizard writes the code. So I have in design view an input form for coaches and I'm going to come down, I'm going to scroll down and I've added a form footer and this is where I want to place my buttons. Notice I'm in the uh, design tab here and this is your buttons. Okay, so I will click on a button and just simply drag and drop. Okay, and I want to look at the categories. Uh, we have a category for record operations that will take you to the next record or the last record or the previous record or even help you find a record. Um, we have that record operations and you can create buttons that will add new records, delete records, print and save records. We have another category for form operations. So if you need to open or close a form or print out a form, you have those here. Another button for report operations. And a button for the application itself if you want to close the application. And if you wanted to run a query or a macro, you have then this category. So let's go with record operations. And let's create a button to add a new record. Okay. And this time I'll go with text, add record. And I'll click on next and button add record give it a descriptive name just like you would in VB and then click finish well what I want to do now is take a look at what exactly happens what does that wizard do so over here in the property tab property window I am going to uh, notice that it's the property for button add record Go to the event tab and you will see it says embedded macro. So if I click on this, um, that wizard automatically wrote this macro and this macro says, uh, first of all, it does some error checking and then it will go to a record. Well, which record? A new record. And then a message box if there is an error. So that's simple. That is what happens um, when you write a create a button using the button wizard it writes then an, an event it runs a macro when the click event happens to that button